Hi, I'm Ross with Sky Management, and today we have a fun project. We're going to be talking about dumping your waste tank on your RV and using a pump to do it. So most tanks gravity feed, and you can only do it downhill in a short range. And so what we're going to try to do is turn an ordinary garbage disposal into a poop shooter. And how we're going to do that is we're going to take apart the top of this and get it where we can mount your normal RV connection directly to the top of this. And then there's a couple ways to do the, the outflow. One, you can start with a fresh plate and weld a garden hose connection onto it and just feed it out a garden hose. But I think we're going to try to use the normal garbage disposal connection and hook it up on here and then uh, reduce it down to a smaller hose to like a garden hose size hose coming off of here. Uh, that'll uh, take away maybe some of the difficulty if, the, if that works out. The first step in creating your poop shooter is disassembling the top of your garbage disposal. You won't need this piece and you won't need this piece. So you take those off and you'll see that your uh, waste hose fits directly over the top of a normal garbage disposal and you're going to want to mark on here where you need your four bolts to go through because we're going to drill those out. Now for the bolts that we're going to put through there, I've made this little thing out of uh, some toilet bolts and then these little collar pieces are off of the bottom side of faucets but you could probably just go buy uh, these pieces at the, at the store, the little, uh, this little piece of pipe to go over, over the bolt and I've got a rubber washer for the inside and a metal washer for the outside. So we're going to drill our four holes in here and we're going to put the bolt through it with a rubber washer on the inside to keep it from leaking, a metal washer on the outside, and then the, a little tube piece, and then a nut to tighten it down. And when it's tightened down on there, these pieces will be able to just lock right in when you put your, your hose on there, it'll attach right in. So let's go ahead and drill out those holes. So now that we know that this piece attaches on and secures down like it's supposed to, we need to measure off and put dots where the uh, bolts are going to go through to make for the brackets. So I'm just going to use a permanent marker and go ahead and line this up where I think we're going to want to have it out the opposite side. and. Uh, mark some dots. Now that we've got the dots marked in place, we know where we need to drill, drill the holes. So you get your appropriate uh, size drill bit that's going to work for your bolt. Now that we've got the, uh, the holes drilled, we'll attach our bolts through there like that. together. So now that we've got the uh, bolts in there so we can hook our, our dump hose up to our pump, we're going to be using the pipe that go, comes with the garbage disposal and it's going to attach on there the same way it normally would with this little ring here. And we have the, the gasket in there to seal it up. We've gone with a inch and a half clear pipe on this end, or a clear hose, and you're able to shove that in there good and far, and then we'll clamp it on with one of these worm drive clamps. We chose the clear hose so you can see that things are moving along the way they're supposed to and it doesn't get uh, clogged up uh, so you can see when it's all clear 
when you're all done. On the far end of that, we've gone from an inch and a half barb fitting to a one inch pipe thread so that we can thread on an end to connect a smaller hose and we'll be using a garden hose that we'll just go over the end of this and we'll clamp it down on here. We wanted to go with a smaller diameter hose for the line because if we were running this inch and a half diameter the whole way and you're trying to pump it uphill, you're going to have a lot of fluid, we'll say, in the line that you're going to have to end up walking out later because it's not going to pump it out all the way. So the smaller diameter hose I think is probably a good way to go. You don't want to get it too small because you don't want to clog it up. This is a, a three quarter inch that we'll be using. So we're going to go ahead and connect this onto the garbage disposal. We'll be ready to hook this thing up to the RV and try it out. There's the clean out. Got it tucked down in there. Goes. Goes up this way about a hundred and sixty feet. Now in this particular case, as a trial run, as a first test, we've got the poop shooter hooked up using a three foot, this is a tank to tote adapter so that it has the female ends on both ends. I went ahead and left the elbow on it, uh, but it is this product that's right here purchased it was about $17 includes both the ends and the three foot which seemed to be plenty to get it on there I've gone ahead and attached a extension cord to be able to plug to plug in our buddy here the poop shooter and it's gonna kick it on and shoot the poop downhill but it's still a hundred and I think it's probably about 150 160 feet away I think it would be able to push it uphill part ways too but we're gonna give this a shot and see what happens Pull the sewage holding tank first. And there it's coming out there now. Down into the poop shooter. It appears to be grinding up now. Working its way down. It's fairly quiet. By having this tube clear here as well as clear here, we can see that it's still coming in and going out. It's still flowing fine through there. Okay, we must be nearing the end of the uh, black water tank. We're running out of. Uh, out of fluid, I think we're sucking some air now, so we're gonna go ahead and open up the other one. So, was the poop shooter a success? Well, it depends on who you're asking. For me, since I could pump from there 150 feet away downhill using nothing but this and get the whole process done with emptying out the black tank and the gray tank within about 15 minutes, I think it did okay. Could it have done better? Probably. If I would have gotten near it, just put a standard hose on there, it could have been done a heck of a lot faster. But uh, if you have to ever pump uphill, there's no way to let it free drain uphill. You have to have a pump of some kind, either buying a flow jet or making your own. Uh, you know, this was just simply a garbage disposal that we had uh, that still worked and it had replaced on an old sink. And uh, this whole piece is the tank to toad adapter that we got that, that if you don't already have one, some people already have them, but if you don't have them, they were about $17 uh, online. And then the rest of this was just a couple bucks for some fittings just to attach onto the existing uh, garbage disposal piece. And then uh, I had two old hoses that had tears in them that we run over with the lawnmower that I mended together and made the hose. So that didn't cost me anything either. So. 
total parts and labor and everything else involved this is about 25 bucks and it, and it works fine it's a fun project we'll, we'll see if anybody else has any other recommendations they'd prefer i've seen kits that you can do with these online that people have sold to adapt to an existing garbage disposal that are about 120 bucks uh, like i said the flow jet we've seen online was uh, a few hundred bucks uh, or parts and stuff here you know maybe about 25 bucks so if you're handy uh, you may want to give it a try